In this video, I'm going to taste test some weird international and inspired snacks. These two are both from the country of Colombia. One of them is a, a green plantain chip. The other one is a green banana chip. I've never had either one. And I think they're both the basic just salted flavor. Oh, these are so cute. They look like cut up plantain slices. That's what they are basically. Really thin too. It doesn't really have a smell to it. Just a little bit of like an oil smell. That's it. I don't really taste any salt. I taste the oil, so I taste like kettle cooked chips a little bit, but not salty. Okay, that's really interesting. So some of them taste a little bit fishy and they have the salt on them. It's like a fried fish almost. Yeah, I'm really not a huge fan of these. I wish they didn't have the fishy taste. I'm gonna pretty much give it two thumbs down. Why the fishy taste? I'm gonna put it in the middle of the line for now. Well, let's hope the green banana chips don't have that fishy taste to them. It's the same brand. Seems like they're a little bit smaller and maybe look just a little bit different, but not much. It smells of a kettle cooked, slightly salted banana. Well, at least this one doesn't have that fishy taste. That's a plus. I mean, they taste like a banana that's not sweet at all. A little bit salted and also kettle cooked in flavor. Yeah, I like this one a lot better than the plantain chips. That fishy taste really ruined it for me. I'm gonna give these two thumbs up, they're good. I put them at the beginning of the line for now. I've had Harvest Snaps before. I don't know if I've ever had the white cheddar that says it's brand new. Oh, oh my, sorry, wrong activity. <laughs> You're supposed to eat these. Well, they definitely have a very strong white cheddar scent, but not really getting much of a cheese flavor from them. Mm, okay, a little bit. On some of them, the cheese flavor is very weak. On some of them, it's very strong and it's very tasty. I'm gonna put these in the first place in the savory line now. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like Funyuns are a classic, basic, iconic American snack. But we just got them very recently, like within the past, I would say seven or eight months in Canada. And me as a Canadian that's never set foot in the States, I had never tried these until today, actually. But these are corn snacks, kind of like Cheetos, I guess, in the shape of a ring. And they're onion flavored. My friend that lives in the States has been trying to warn me that these are extra super salty, even saltier than some of the most saltiest potato chips. I did try them today earlier with my burger with lunch. What's very interesting is even though these don't have any potatoes in them, flavor-wise, they really remind me of my mom's potato patty cutlets that she makes. They taste so good. The onion flavor is very present and it is salty, but I wouldn't say it's saltier than most potato chips out there. I really like that flavor. I'm pretty sure they win in these salty snacks here. So I'm gonna put them at the beginning of the line. I think this is a Walmart brand, our finest, and this is their divinely rich white chocolate lemon cookie. It sounds really good. These are rather big chunky cookies and I can clearly see some white chocolate pieces on it. it. Smells really good too. Oh, it's so crispy and crunchy and that lemon flavor is so nice. It's not really tangy or sour, but it's like a mild, mellow, sweet lemon zest flavor. And the white chocolate is so creamy and buttery tasting. Mm, just delicious cookies, really. Let's put this at the beginning line for the sweet things right now. More cookies and a few more after this one. Leclerc is a Canadian brand and I'm very excited to try the pina colada cookies they made. It looks like there's a mango jam in the middle on top and a pina colada cream in the middle. That mango scent is very strong. The mango flavor is very strong in there. The cream does have a little bit of a pina colada flavor. It smells really good. I'm gonna have the whole cookie now. It's a little bit chemical tasting, but not really in a bad way. The mango flavor was stronger. I wish the pina colada flavor was a little bit stronger than the mango one. Overall, I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. I liked it. All right, let's put these in second place in the sweets lineup for now. I think Wurtman Bakery is a Canadian brand. I know you guys get it in the States. Super grains, banana chocolate chip one. It says it's made with real bananas. Oh, that smells so good. I can smell a lot of bananas in there. It's a rather big and chunky cookie with a lot of chocolate chips in it. It kind of reminds me of those oval shaped uh, cookies that had banana and I think chocolate chips in them in terms of the flavor, but those were soft cookies. This isn't really like crunchy or anything, but it's not 
soft either. It's definitely a very dry cookie. It'd be best if you had a glass of milk with it, but it's tasting really good right now. I can taste a lot of banana and a lot of chocolate, so it delivers. Yeah, I'm gonna put these in second place in the sweets lineup. Well, I've never had the Reese's Thins whites before. I've had the milk and the dark, and I loved those. I know these aren't white chocolate, they're white cream with peanut butter. Wow, that peanut butter smells very strong. I like this. I mean, it's a salted peanut butter center with a sweet milky tasting coating. I like it. Two thumbs up. I'm gonna put these in third place in the sweets lineup for now. I think these Hostess Pop Snacks are newish to Canada. Oh, it smells very rich and chocolatey. You can kind of see the cake in the center and a chocolatey cream on top. See, I like this processed dark cocoa flavor. So rich in chocolate, wow. Yeah, I can taste all the chemicals and how processed it is. Honestly, I kind of like it though, so it's two thumbs up. I'm gonna put these in third place for now. I love coffee flavored things. I'm very excited to try these Leclerc French vanilla coffee flavored cookies. Oh my God. The coffee scent in these cookies is whoa through the roof. There's a cream in the middle and I think there's coffee bits and pieces on the cookies themselves. That's the cream, I'm gonna have a go at it. Well, the cream is sweet and has a mix of vanilla and coffee flavor together. It tastes good. The cookie bits, the biscuits are almost like gingerbread flavored, but not very strong gingerbread. Or maybe it just reminds me of gingerbread man cookies for some reason. Because I definitely don't taste a strong ginger flavor in there, but it's kind of similar. Let's have the cookie. Honestly, if you like coffee flavored things, you're really gonna like this cookie. Coffee flavor is, I would say it's perfect. Maybe it could be a little bit stronger, but I'm really enjoying it. Uh, hopefully this won't fall. I'm gonna put these in the shared first place. This probably takes the cake for being the weirdest snack or item I've ever tried. Maybe my whole life, definitely tonight's video. It's a cold brew carbonated coffee that's not even the weirdest part it's yuzu flavored carbonated cold brew coffee what's yuzu it's an asian citrusy fruit apparently like oranges or uh, tangerines or, or something like that i've never had yuzu i don't think i've ever had cold brew and i've definitely never had carbonated sparkling coffee i hope nothing goes wrong with this <laughs> well, time to fancy it up and yes i like ice in all my cold drinks Whoa, look at that color. I mean, I would have never guessed cold brew coffee from this color. I guess it's all from that yuzu citrusy drink. It looks more like beer and it kind of looks lighter in my eyes than it's showing on the camera right now. Oh, that smells so interesting. It smells like orange juice mixed in with coffee. Here I go. <laughs> Oh, it's very carbonated. It tastes a little bit like grapefruit was mixed with coffee or like a bitter-ish orange juice was mixed with coffee. But at the same time, it's a little bit sweet. I'm not sure if they've sweetened it with anything. At the same time, it has a faint lemon, nesty, iced tea flavor to it. I don't hate the flavor. I don't love the flavor. For the innovation and the excitement, I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. For the flavor, I'm gonna give it two thumbs, maybe just a little bit sideways it's not bad at all but it's very interesting i'm gonna put it in fifth place in the lineup of sweets while i finish this very interesting drink you check out this yummy and delicious playlist right here you won't regret it <laughs>